Hello and welcome back to my social media fixer upper. Today my episode is about clip editing. Like I mentioned in episode two, one way to make your long form videos perform better is to repurpose them into smaller clips. This is a video timeline for one of the episodes of Live at Evolution that I produced. These episodes are definitely considered long format, but I could cut them down into shorter form clips if I wanted to. But where do you even start cutting? So sometimes an interview is straightforward and figuring this part out is super easy, but there will be times when your interviews are a little bit more scattered and it's your job as the editor to make it sound more coherent. What I like to do is to look for the smaller stories that make up the larger pastiche of the entire story and isolate them. So another thing I like to do for myself here is to actually label my stories and my clips with different colors. Um, my editing software has this feature on it and I also make a notepad with the corresponding colors and story subjects in them. It takes a couple minutes but trust me when you're on the timeline and every single clip is the same color sometimes this is actually just a way way better way to save yourself the trouble. So another important exercise in this is going to apply to what you are going to take out. If you're working with somebody else or for somebody else, I do recommend you ask them specifically what they're looking for you to leave in and take out. But generally one of the most important things to take out is going to be anything that dates your clip or sets it to like a specific period of time. And the reason that I mention this is because sometimes somebody has a book coming out on April 17th or has a concert coming out in May 15th. It's relevant maybe when you're releasing the video, but it's not going to be relevant six months down the road. So when you have a clip that you're happy with, remember to add fade in and fade outs on the audio and the video. It's just a small step, but a lot of people don't do it and you can really tell when something does have it and when something doesn't. So this has been the end of episode three of my social media fixer upper. Stick around for episode four. That'll be the last episode and it'll be in the link in the bio.